manifestation exercises, conversations with your guides. My guides have shared with me and my clients this simple exercise for many years. And it is as simple as doing one or all of these things or anything else that you want to look at. The purpose of being five years away is not that you have to wait that long, but that you're not caught up in the names, addresses, roles or patterns of today. The reason you take yourself to the best possible version is that the higher you reach in this exercise, the more likely you are able to realize what you actually need. It's also an indication to your guides that you're ready for them to drop in some of the changes they are holding for you or to activate heightened vibrations that match the people that are coming into your life in the future so that you meet as vibrations, as your vibrations match and you come closer sooner. It also gives you an awareness of what you may want to change in your own life once you realize something is a priority and you had normalized your way out of believing it. You can take action now or later, but being aware of what will make you happy gives you the opportunity to affect change, work towards something new, make choices that move you forward and take responsibility for yourself to release old patterns that you are not serving, that aren't serving you, and just do you. Most of what you realize here, you may not even have considered or know you wanted. And when you realize this, your guides literally go, yep, they've decided they want this now, so let's get to work. And they implement the best version for your generation, for your lessons, for your hearts. So you may want a house on a hill with a chandelier, and they will give you a, a little house with a view and nothing in front of you, and maybe a little beautiful light fitting in the bathroom, or maybe the mansion on the hill, but they will implement what it is that you need the most. So some of these ones will be home, could be relationships, could be work. You may look at how you will be with your children looking at forward patterns and behaviours. So I'll walk you through a few. And always go back and take the time to do this as and when you feel. In five years' time, in the best, biggest possible version, I come home and my home feels like Imagine yourself moving around your home. It's not what it looks like, but what it feels like. How do you feel walking around the best possible house you could have? What are the energy, sensations and smells like? The words for this may be some that we come up your first time or two. Even though it's not word-based, it's feeling-based. For instance, if you feel that it is light and a breeze blows through, then you may be on a hill or overlooking a beach with large windows. This kind of detail spirit will take care of. They just want to know how it feels. Does it feel like you have space or other bodies in the house? Doesn't matter who, just what feels like the best version for you. Details of your kids and partners, flatmates, large families or solitude. They can be handled by spirit depending on what you are giving the go-ahead for them to match. You may want that beautiful mansion on the hill. And what, what you're getting is quiet, spacious home that is secure. Not any bigger than usual. It's just that you needed energetic distance from people. And that classy chandelier we were looking for may be beautiful, well-built, safe, peaceful fittings. Some guidance you might want to consider is, does it feel big or small? Does it feel bright or dark? Do you feel like you're surrounded by houses or it's quite remote? Does it have a lot of daylight coming in or privacy? Is it full of people or just one or two? Cool, classy, cosy, warm. 
The list is endless. Wandering around your house. What feels best? And take 10 minutes to daydream to allow that to be your manifestation daydream. In relationships. In five years time, in the best possible version, I wake up on a Saturday morning. Who's in bed with me? Do they get up first because you like to sleep in or do you wake up together? What feels best for you? Who's getting up to make tea and coffee for each other in your best possible version? If you're at breakfast together, how does it feel? Do you want to sit in a sunny, sunny spot in the kitchen or still be in bed? At the table? Or do you have breakfast late because you feel best when you've already been out in the morning for exercise, working on the farm, writing at dawn, for instance? What feels in the best possible version you could have? Does your partner eat with you or do you prefer space? In which case you might manifest a shift worker. The detail is not for you to worry about. If you're eating together, do they have a newspaper or cell phone or not? Do you want quiet or companionship in these examples? How does it feel? When you come home from work, are they already home and do you greet each other in your best possible version? What does an ideal evening look like? How does dinner play out? Do you take turns cooking or cooking for each other or cooking together or a chef? What is the best possible evening? Do you want to feel that there's laughing or talking Curling up together, watching TV, working, resting, creating. What is your evening going to feel like in the best possible version in five years' time? In a home you don't know, just what feels best with your best possible partner. You can use this for work. In five years' time, in the best possible version, I walk into work and it feels like, do you want to work with others or have a very small office or place of your own or large office? Do you want to be in town or the city? Do you want to be in the offices or a factory or a shop or outdoors? These are details, but what does it feel like? Are you feeling aware that they like you and respect you and that you do a very good job? Do you feel like you've achieved a lot of clearing or change in the last few years? Are you realised you have finally doing what you came here to do, that you've uncovered your gifts and skills? Are you being your way, you, and that's well received? Do you feel like these are people you spend a lot of time with outside of work as company? Are they a professional and you enjoy your colleagues, but you have privacy to go about your life without work, and fe work interference? What feels best? In five years' time, in the best possible version, I'm spending time with my children, and it feels like. So much older than they are now, they're growing. We're talking about our day, and I listen to them, and they listen to me. Can you talk honestly a bit, honestly about what's going on in your day with them? And they're talking with you, sharing and coming to solutions together. How does this feel? This kind of manifestation daydream is really good when you're looking at the difference in energy from controlling and managing your kids to being with them and supporting them. If you just do you, instead of reacting to their processing, which could be hormonal outbursts, then the manipulation dials down, and in return, they're allowed to be them, and then speak their truth, and even if the answer is no, they're more able to accept this without resentment, it's the best a teenager can, and contribute and participate. If you're talking openly with your child, and they're talking openly with you, it's not about being best friends, it's about respecting and trusting in the dialogue so they can learn how you cope with things or don't cope and get tools for this. They may share difficult things with you 
and find ways to cope rather than acting out and bottling things up. But the first step is to come to an awareness of how it feels to be in this space and the relationship in this way and then allow that to become part of what you test against yourself in your interactions. Does this feel right to me? How does it feel to spend time with my children in five years' time? Knowing where you are heading gives you the ability and the awareness to modify your responses now. Anything else you could possibly think of? Spending time with a best friend in the best possible version in five years' time. They can be nameless for this exercise. That's very important. If you want to travel, in five years' time, in the best possible journey, I have been, and it felt like, and just daydream. Take the time for one or any of these topics once a year, once a month, whenever you feel like something needs changing, that you're ready for more, always, always allow yourself to have more. There is no greed in wanting to grow and expand. And if you had everything you ever wanted and you have changed your mind, then that is a miracle and it is wonderful because you have realized you deserve more. So once again, in five years' time, in the best possible version, it feels like what?